What is the place value of 5 and 4.053? The decimal place value of the digit 4 is in the units. Write the next digit after the decimal point, which is 0, is in the tenths. The next after that, the digit 5 is in the hundreds. Then the last digit 3 is in the thousands. Okay? So the place value of 5 in this decimal number is 100. So the answer option E is the right answer. Write in Roman numerals 1584. Breaking this down, 1000 In Roman numeral is represented by the symbol M. Then for 500, which is 500, it is represented with the symbol D. Next is 80. 80 is represented by the symbol L is 50, so X is 10, so we have 3 more X, so 50 plus 30, which gives us 80, okay? So, LXXX is representing 80 in Roman numeral. Then for 4, is represented by IV. V is 5. I before V is I is 1. So I before V is 5 minus 1 which gives us 4. Okay. So if we were to write this down, we write from the top. So we have M D L X X X I V. So the answer option C is the right answer. Find the sum of these decimal numbers. Alright, so 1.42 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.7. So adding this up from the column on the far right hand side of the decimal point will bring down the 2 then the next column we have 4 plus 1 which is 5 5 plus 7 which is 12 so we write and 2 we carry the 1 
to the next column after the decimal point on the left okay we bring down the decimal point so the one added to the one already in the column gives us two so we have 2.22 so the answer option C is the right answer arrange these fractions in descending order what that means is to arrange the numbers from the highest of the fraction to the lowest of the given fraction okay so what the simplest way to do this is to convert the fractions to decimal numbers so you can see clearly which number is the highest okay so first let's convert the first given fraction 1 over 5 so we we'll divide 1 by 5 okay 5 divide 1 not possible so we add 0 point okay so we can add now add 0 to it so 5 in 10 is 2 so 1 over 5 is 0 0.2 okay then coming to the next given fraction 3 over 4 so we we'll divide 3 by 4 okay not possible so we add 0 point we now add 0 to the 3 4 in 30 we go how many times that is 6 times no 7 times okay so 7 times 4 will give us what 28 okay so for the by if we minus 28 from 30 we now have 2 okay since we have the decimal point we can always add 0 whenever needed okay so 4 in 20 will give us 5 5 times 4 we have 20 so we have nothing left okay so 3 over 4 will give us 0 0.75 all right so you can see clearly now that this is greater than this let's quickly work out the two remaining given fraction 7 over 8 we divide 7 by 8 okay not possible so we add 0 to it 0 point okay so we can now add 0 to the 7 so 8 in 70 is 8 okay so 8 times 8 is 64 so we subtract 64 from 70 we have 6 left since we have the decimal point so we can always add 0 whenever needed 8 in 60 that will give us 7 okay so 7 times 8 will give us 56 all right so we subtract that from 60 so now we have 4 okay we add 0 to that 8 in 40 is 5 5 times 8 gives us 40 so we have nothing left so the fraction 7 over 8 is 0 0.875 then the last fraction 1 over 2 so we have to divide 1 by 2 so 2 and 1 are possible so we add the 0 point so now we can add 0 to the 1 2 and 10 is 5 5 times 2 10 okay so we have 0 0.5 all right so now if we were to look at the highest of this is 0 0.8 which is 7 over 8 in fraction followed by 0 0.75 and in fraction we have 3 over 4 okay followed by 0.5 which is 1 over 2 then lastly 0 0.2 which is 1 
over 5 okay so the answer option A is the right answer find the key root of 8 over 27 okay so the key root of 8 we have to look for a particular number that when multiplied together three times we have 8 and that number is 2 because 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 now gives us 8 so the key root of 8 is 2 okay then for the key root of 27 we have to look for another number that when multiplied three times we'll get 27 okay and that number is 3 because 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 gives us 27 okay so the key root of 27 is 3 so the answer option B is the right answer Correct 0 0.006678 to 3 decimal places. That is, we are to count to 3 places immediately after the decimal point. Okay, so we count to the right of the decimal point, which is 006, then to delete the numerous. The remaining numerals okay then the first digit of the numerals to be deleted is more than four so that we increase the value of the third the, the digit in the third decimal place by one okay so to correct 0, 0, point, 0, point zero zero six six seven eight to three decimal places we have 0 0.007 okay so the answer option D is the right answer in a class there are 25 boys and 15 girls find the ratio of boys to girls the ratio of the boys the number of the boys is 25 to the number of the girls which is 15 if we divide 25 by 5 we have 5 as well divide 15 by 5 we have 3 so the ratio of the boys to the girls is 5 to 3 so the answer option C is the right answer How many prime numbers are there in the set of numbers below? Remember prime numbers are numbers that can be multiplied by 1 and divisible only by itself. Okay? So if we are to scan through these numbers 13 is a prime number it can be multiplied by 1 okay and only divisible by 13 all right so next the next prime number is 17 17 can be multiplied by 1 and only divisible by 17 okay the next is 19. 19 is a number that can only be divisible by 19 without a remainder. That is what it means, divisible by itself without a remainder. Okay, so we have three prime numbers. So the answer option B is the right answer. What is 8,200,009 in figures? 
representing 8 million and figures is 8 comma 000 comma 000 then for 200,000 in figures is 200,000 then lastly representing 9 in figure okay so now if we add the numbers just like a normal addition we have 9 0 0 we bring down the comma then 0 0 we bring down the 2 then we bring down the 8 so this is 8 million two hundred thousand and nine in figures so the answer option C is the right answer what is the ACF of 9 12 and 15 the product factor of 9 is 3 times 3 while the product factor of 12 is 3 times 2 times 2 the product factor of 15 is 3 times 5 so now we look for the factor that is common in the three given numbers okay so for 3 3 appears once in the three given numbers okay so we have the ACF of 9 12 and 15 we have 3 then looking at the two other factors 2 and 5 2 is not common in the two other given numbers like us likewise 5 is not common in the two order given numbers okay so 3 is the only common factor or the highest common fact is the only common factor that is that is appearing in all the numbers so the ACF of 9 12 and 15 is 3 so the answer option B is the right answer <laughs>